Today is Monday, meaning tomorrow is Global Update Day. And what are my global players getting? Well, there's new Mono. It's a very, very skippable banner. Although Mono is a great unit, actually. She just doesn't have it, unfortunately. It's not really her fault. It's more of the fault of Catastrophes not getting as much love because, well, they're not really all that hype, so now Marvel probably just doesn't care to release them as often, which is probably for the good. But she is a Catastrophe, like, you know, booster. Her passive buffs Catastrophes, and, you know, she gets more stats if there are more Catastrophes as well. So she wants to be around other Catastrophes, but, you know, also the banner sucks. Absolutely sucks. Just a horrendous banner. This is an easy skip. After the must-summon banners of Ascanor and Meliodas, great break, right? Next banner might be like Ragnarok or something. We don't know, but it's a great break uh, in between those two highly coveted characters. And, you know, this not as coveted. A lot of people are going to summon because it's a great looking character. And she's admittedly, admittedly very good. Her card hits very hard and her blue card is unique. She has a cleanse, which not many characters do these days. Um, and crit chance and crit damage buff is kind of interesting. Just, you know, she doesn't do enough because there is a part missing. She doesn't have a holy relic yet, which she will get eventually, but we don't know how good that relic even is going to be. And I think for the catastrophes, there's one character missing. Lilia is good. Lilia, it does not need a replacement. The, the Lilia that we have is great. Mono is great. There's no other great catastrophe character in the game. There was a new... If a link to the came out, but she sucks. And, you know, no catastrophe as of recent has been good. And if a character isn't recent, likely they're not good. Because recent characters actually have good stats. This character has okay stats. I can actually pull, pull her up real quick. Just easy skip for most players. But if she's in a different banner and you end up pulling her, hey, that's great. Um... Actually, she has good stats. Just looking at it, she is a newer character. You, you gotta remember that this version of Mono is new. The green Mono came out a little bit after Trillium Meliodas. So, yeah, she is relatively new. Her stats are actually pretty good. I just didn't remember how good her stats were. So, with a Relic, this character will be great, but not currently. So, I can't really recommend summoning for a character that you don't even know when or if is going to actually be meta-relevant. What else is coming for the update? Well... We're getting Final Boss of Lucia. Oh, 4v4 PvP is going to come on Sunday, or Monday for a lot of people. Um, 4 4 4 is okay. I don't mind 4 I mean, I do mind 4 4 It's not the best, but... Final Boss of Lucia. The boss is great. If you want to just see what the high point teams are, here it is. It's unknown. Uh, mostly, you assume, because you can't use a, a, a full Archangel team. You can't use Margaret. But unknowns with, you know... <laughs> It's, just, it does, it's the same. Unknowns with Nanashi just get so much stats. If I go, like, here, it still is. I mean, this guy's using Rimuru. I'm gonna try to make, you know, a video showcasing not only this team, but maybe a team that's more accessible. Because, you know, these are collab characters, right? And this is a Dog Relic character. A lot of people are not gonna be able to make this team. But, yeah. For farming, though, Askinor. Really hope you saw him for Askinor. He's just the best. If not, any DPS. This boss is not as annoying as Sauriel and Tarmiel were because it is, they don't have damage cap. It doesn't um, take care of the orbs that come with the boss. And then you have free range to just do a ton of damage to the boss. Way less annoying to farm, I'll tell you. But for what I can tell, and I don't, I don't read the Japanese, they do take... Heavy, they have heavy damage reduction towards ults, so like 6-6 six, six ult isn't going to do the best, you're really looking for card damage. So these are really the only two things coming with this patch, the new mono and this. All the other stuff, um, you know, it's pretty, you know, regular. You're getting a free multi on mono, so good luck. Hope you, hopefully you pull her, because really there's almost nothing else in that banner anyone really cares about anyways. Like, really. This banner just suck, and, and and they I guess they they wanted the banner to suck, so people skip it, right? There, there's no way, like there's nothing else here that's good except like Chandler, but he's in, he's gonna be an SSR ticket character eventually. He's not currently in here, right? He's not currently in here, 
But he will be, or I guess uh, his start tickets are here. He's not currently in here, but he will be. I've been saving his start tickets for, you know, when Chandler and maybe even Kusak comes in. I can just swoop them out of the banner and 6-6 six -six them because I did not 6-6 six -six them on their initial banner or anything like that. So, other than that, uh, this Hawk event is okay. You just kind of, like, make Hawk walk. And then he just keeps walking. Then you, like, reset or something. It's It's cute. It's something we've never had. I guess your objective is to collect all that food. Um, I don't speak Japanese, so I just guess when I click. It's it's whatever. The game mode's whatever. And then there's uh, this, which is like a... Oh. It's gonna do this. It's like a um, retail of these, you know, story bosses. I haven't even played it. <laughs> you can't see. I'll be honest, I... <laughs> It's fine. I mean, I've already played these bosses. Like, this is cool, right? This boss is cool, but he's not a character. I've already played him in story. I don't care if it's slightly more difficult. It's not even going to be difficult to begin with. And the rewards are okay. You get one gem per doing all these missions right here. And you get some SA coins. I really think they should have updated the rewards. They, these rewards are, like, old, right? Giving, like, old raid mats 10 wings... 10, that's just outrageous, 10 wings, but I believe if you just do the mission, yeah, you can get like three anvils, hey, let's go. Another mission that has to be like updated to actually, you know, have relevant rewards, but hey, they're about done with these. I'm assuming they're not going to release any of these or like this right here specifically for a while because this is pretty caught up with the story. Like we just had this boss, is it the last chapter? So you're probably not going to see this again for a while. Hopefully next time they bring it back, it actually has relevant rewards. So if you are still chasing Meliodas, I would still keep chasing Meliodas. His banner leaves on JP only on the 26th. So 10 days from now and on global only in February. There is a really good chance by February we might be starting to get, to get talks about the newest festival. But I find it very hard should believe we're gonna get a better festival than Meliodas. Looking at February of 2022, what we got was Dian. Dian was a fantastic character. It was for the global anniversary. Funny. Um, it, it, she was a great character after Tarmia Link, but at launch, she was a terrible character. So, next banner I am predicting will be a general SSR ticket character. Like, Green Sauriel was actually what uh, was in Mono's slot last year. And then after Green Sauriel, it was Ragnarok. I'm gonna assume they're gonna just swap that and make a regular banner character next. And then maybe Ragnarok. I would actually be thinking about saving for Ragnarok for most players. Because um, it, I think it's about time they start releasing good Ragnarok characters for PvP. And, you know, the Catastrophes are struggling, but we've already had a good Catastrophe character. Or sorry, not Catastrophe. Uh, a Ragnarok character. And if they just release more good Ragnarok characters, this character can make a comeback. And they might even make it seasonal like she was. I would be, you know, on the lookout for that. Or Festivals. Not summoning for banners that are SSR ticket or mono. So, good luck. Good luck on your free multi, though.